Right. So Good you go afternoon, to everyone. I'm Stephanie Donaldson, the Executive Director at the Johns Creek Art Center. And I'm here with Althea Foster, our Programs Director and Curator. We have a wonderful artist talk planned for you today, featuring our spectacular clay instructor, Kiak Lim, or better known as KB. Althea has questions for Kiak, and we're going to go ahead and start our artist talk. Hi, we're so happy that you're joining us. This is going to be fun. Hi. Yeah, Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh, we, it is our pleasure. Why don't you just start by telling us a little bit about your background and how you came to be the artist you are today? Yeah, um, we, I came to USA in uh, 2000 with my family and I, um, I have three kids, two daughters and a son. And um, my son has autism. So when he was about uh, 13, I homeschool him, and uh, that's when I register for a pottery class myself. And so it has been 14 years since. And um, the reason I chose clay is I think I really like the feel of clay in my hands. And you know, it kind of, this is a medium that will listen to me and kind of like almost the only thing will listen to me in my life. So um, yeah, that's that's why I uh, that's how I started it. Yeah. Your work is so whimsical and so accomplished. Did you like art as a child? Did you ever think of being an artist when you were a young girl? Um, yes, I. You know, I really love art. So when I was really young, I wanted to be become an artist. You know, my mom is really strict. And she was like, no, you can't. And um, so there was no way for me to be an artist. And so I, um, I became a dentist instead. And um, it was good in the sense that I was still able to use my hands, you know, just do things with my hands and, and, and all that. Yeah, but I, I always wanted, I mean, I, I love arts, just generally anything to do with, um, yeah. Anything to do with aesthetics or things like that. <laughs> well, you said you came here in 2000? Yeah. A lot of your work seems to tell a story, like your personal story. Can you tell us a little bit about how your background uh, influences the work that you do currently? Yeah, um, I, let's, let's share a screen of my uh, family. Um, so I have, you want to share this one? Yeah. What was it like? Oh, oh, you, can we, can we share a screen? Do you think you can share a screen? It doesn't allow me to share a screen. Is it okay? Yeah, what does she want to share? Her family, picture her family. Yeah, the pictures of my, um, my work and my family, is it, are you able to share the screen? I'm trying to open that, I wasn't, I don't see where I can share. It seems like it's, uh, it's disabled. You know, if, if it's okay, if it's not, that's fine. Yeah, it's not showing anymore. It's not showing. <laughs> oh. No? Because um, I, I would love to, uh, you to see my uh, family. I have some pictures to show if you are allowed. No, can you? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that um, to share simultaneously. Can we? Yeah, okay, let's, let's try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> so, so you can see my family. That's like a picture of my family when it was in the 60s or 70s. And it was, I, I grew up in a huge family. I had eight brothers. I was going to say you have a really big family. Oh, yeah. I had eight brothers, eight older brothers and one older sister. And so I'm the youngest of like family of 10. And you can see in the pictures, um, we, this is a house that we live in. Um, all of us, all, everybody in these pictures live in this house. And so oh, we have, you know, my nieces and nephews, my in-laws, everybody, you know. 
And so um, I, I, I had a big farm and uh, that was like um, uh, animal farms and two fish ponds and we were very poor. But um, because of that, I get a chance to really uh, enjoy nature and kind of explore what's um, around me. And um, I think that kind of helped me in a lot of my drawings and um, uh, a lot of my pieces are kind of reflections of my life um, in the farm. So yeah, I could show you more pictures if you want it. Which one, yeah. is, which one, which is, one you? is you? Oh, which one was me? Okay, um, this one. Can you see? Yes, which yes. one? Yeah, right in the middle. Like, She's the li would be the one of the little ones. One real littles down here. This one. Sorry, right in the middle. Um, can, can I point it? No. So this one right in the middle, you see? Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So my parents are, you know, right in the middle too. I'm kind of right yes. in front of my father. Yep. The girl right in front. So you were talking about a sort of a farm background. I see that one of your works that you have. Yeah, I was showing someone that it's really about my, um, yeah, so the next one. Yeah, this is like um, um, hand, you know, cage mm -hmm. hand. And it's really, uh, you know, our farm was mainly just chicken farm, mainly. And so this was kind of like how, you know, recently there was a lot of talk about um, how we treat the chicken uh, in, in USA. So I came to this idea of just doing this, you know, and that's that's actually what I saw when I was young. Like, yeah, and then um, that's where I get inspiration from. And I have uh, more slice. Let's do more. Next one. And that's, this is really just about, you know, my time in a farm with my brothers who always bully me and, um, you know, the youngest, they always um, didn't allow me to play with them, you know. And, but this is kind of how my, um, my life was, bicycle, swings, kites, yeah, and then more of it. Are most of your brother and brothers and sisters here, or are they still? Um, I have two brothers who are here in the States. Um, the rest of them are still in the Singapore. And okay. yeah, and then this one too is all about, you know, like live in the farm and the next one. Yeah, let me say yeah, another one. Yeah, and then this is like, um, it's really because when I was young, my brother used to bring me to, to school, ride me to school uh, by bike. And our school is very um, like half an hour away from my house um, by bicycle. And so this was the time when he wanted to um, play, you know, like just wanted to um, ride into some animals. And that was just some of the memory of, of it. And that's just you know, another one of maybe my, my mom feeling. You know, it's not actually exactly what it was, but um, it's kind of like gave me some ideas of how and what I want to draw in my drawings. And, and that's how I think a lot of it is where I get um, some inspirations from. I love the playful narrative quality in your work. Who are some of your favorite artists and who you were influenced by? Oh, um, really, um, the, the one that I really want to thank uh, is my teacher, Carol Wu. And she, I have been taking poverty from her for about maybe uh, 12 years or so. And um, what it was is that when I first uh, took her class, I lost my mom. And uh, so I came and she was kind of like a mom to me. And, um, but she gave me a lot of uh, freedom to express myself, you know, like um, room. And she really didn't really limit me to what I can do. And uh, she kind of showed me that I can do um, anything I want. So anything is possible. And she allowed the space for me to really create. And I, I'm really thankful for her. Um, and um, yeah, I know she knows that. 
<laughs> and um, two other artists I want to show. I need to skip the picture a little bit. So, this one. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I work always makes me smile. Yeah. And, and uh, this another artist, um, her name is uh, Marilyn Levin. And she's a Canadian artist, but uh, she's really good at doing this uh, tromboloid uh, on our ladder pieces and uh, old ladder. And this is made of clay. So the detail that she put in is just amazing. And then when I look at her pieces, it's like, you know, you can never have too much details. And so that's kind of like uh, a lot of um, impact on me. Like, um, you know, you can just take a lot of times to just do a piece and it's okay, you know. And that's another one of hers. Yeah, and, and just so real and just like, wow. And so another person, another artist um, is Sergei uh, Isopo. And she's, she was born in Russia, but then she's now, uh, he's, he was born in Russia and then he's now um, in uh, America. So, I mean, he's very well known and his pieces are really, his narrative. And it, you know, it's very imaginative and he draws very well. And so, you know, combination of the drawings and the sculptures are just kind of amazing. So, you know, it just, I mean, there are many other artists really influenced me. Like, and I, I, I kind of changed a lot along the way, uh, but yeah, this is, a, this is just a few of them. In terms of your process, are you usually working on multiple pieces at one time? I know with clay, they're in different stages, or uh, do you usually work on one piece at a time? Do you oh, um, process? I, um, uh, it all depends. So, uh, when I have an idea, um, you know, I would try to, um, do some research about the idea and, um, just, it, and then, and then when I finally get to work on it, um, it may not, may, you know, the, the, the ideas just keep changing. And so, um, and it all depends like, to the question that you asked me, like many pieces or one piece, uh, I could work on one piece and just stop for a while when I uh, at all, you know, just kind of not working on that piece anymore when, when I think that that was a bad idea. And then I had to move on to something else. And usually when I have like work on, um, Functional pieces, when they are smaller, I will work on many pieces at a time. Um, but if a like big piece of sculpture, and I will, yeah, it really just depends, you know, like when I feel that I need to put it aside and look at it later and then come back to that again. Yeah. I, I noticed just from like being around you at the Art Center, as you know, KB is one of our teachers. That your style over the years has changed, that you're like work in a series and then you'll move on to another series. And that just really seems to be, you seem to have so many streams of imagination go, going in there. Where do you get most of your ideas from? I know uh, you notice you said you had started doing clay with your son. Does he inspire you? Does he influence your work? Yeah, um, I think my son, um, the biggest, yeah, let's, let's stop it. Let's see if we can go into this one. So my son, um, the, you know, he, he really changed my life a lot. Uh, when I was young, um, I was dentist and I was very successful and it was very, um, everything was kind of like very perfectionist. Um, and then I wasn't in clay or anything. I was just too busy with my career. And then um, when he came, of course, it was kind of like chaos. You know, everything just changes. And um, it was, uh, that was, we moved here when he was six. 
And so when I moved here, I, um, I didn't work. And so I became a full-time mom. Um, and he really taught me uh, to be more humble and um, really be very patient and um, kind of simplify life. Um, and um, just, you know, just laugh a lot more. And, uh, you know, it's just things that you have to do, you just, just do it. You can't, you can't like, um, uh, not like, oh, I, I, I'm gonna do it later or something. You just have to, just have to do it. And then kind of like, you know, thicker skin. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, uh, and um yeah so i think that kind of um that kind of in a way influenced my work because uh i in most of my pieces i try not to i try to bring some joy in my work into my work um i feel that it's already so much um suffering or bad stuff that we have to deal with in our life so uh, when I want people to look at my pieces, I want them to feel that it's funny. Uh, look at something that is uh, joyful, you know, or some humor they can pick up or something like that. And um, that's how I feel about it. And um, so most of my work, um, that's what I get from people who see my work. They always say that, you know, your work is so cheerful and so joyful. And I think that's part of it. Yeah. And, um, so I'm going to show you, uh, I think you'll say something like how I get the inspirations. Um, how, how he influenced. This is it. So I'm going to go back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have my daughter here. He's, he's helping me with all these things. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this one. So um, a lot of people ask me where I get my inspiration from, and um, I think a lot of it is just um, my life experience. So for this one, um, I, it's really about my youngest daughter, and she was um, when she was young, she was just very uh, different. So and uh, and that was to me that was kind of her ideas are like full of butterflies, you know, she just had four ideas in her head and just like beautiful ideas. And, and, and so I thought I just wanted to do a sculpture about her and that's, you know, that's how I um, thought of doing it. And then when I do a sculpture, I usually want it to be very simple, um, a very simple, simplified form. It's not, so I, I feel that when, um, when it's a simple form or simple shape, it's bring out uh, what I'm trying to project. And um, for this one, it's really, um, it's, it's really about me when I was young, I, I hated to go to school. And um, so I, I, you know, I didn't like school at all. Um, and so my mom was uh, very upset with me and she punished me. And um, so I was really angry with her. I was there, so that was how, how angry I was. And this is about, you know, mm -hmm. all the books that's at the back in the backpack and just like, I really did not like to go to school at all. <laughs> and, um, and this is just about me, um, not really about me, but generally about um, you know, the life that we have to deal with, with um, being a woman, that we have to take care of almost everything, you know, the kids, house chores, cleaning, and uh, still have to be a, a wonderful woman. And, and so it's just very tired looking. <laughs> And you can see like in you know, all this um, um, uh, utensils or uh, Google search laptop, you know, you just have to deal with too much. And that's just all the, you know, everything, the tools. So, and um, so, you know, like all these ideas are really just about my personal feelings about my life or whatever. Uh, encounters that I have, and this piece, I you know, I wasn't, I wasn't all about doing flowers or anything like that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't one of my one of the things I wanted to do at all. But then um, uh, the inspiration of this piece came from uh, one of my students who are in a special needs class, 
and um, he he was um, he had a big crush on one of my um, assistants. And so, um, but he's, he was so pure and so loving, you know, just so, the expression on his face was so real and so pure. I was, and I had the image, image in my head, I was like, I, I, I need to do something about him. And so, um, to me, and I, I, I had to do something about him that is so perfect, so pure and so beautiful. So um, then I started thinking, how, how should I do it? And I think that flowers or white flowers, you know, white frosting flowers, and tulips is one of my flower, favorite flowers. So will uh, really uh, bring out my idea. So then I thought about it. I went, you know, to uh, search how to do it. Uh, I mean, the, the Google some images of the tulips and bought some real tulips and um, so then work on how to do a perfect one. And when I first started, the tulip was really awful. You know, the first tulip I did, it was really a very awful one. And it just kind of, then I just um, get better, uh, just kind of try different techniques and then get better. Yeah, and so, and I, I just wanted a very simple, um, box or something it's just something very simple to kind of bring out what i wanted to and so then um that was the first piece and it was um a lot of people like it so then i made more <laughs> and so and, and lots more varieties uh, of the flowers that's how i started making beautiful well, yeah Delightful yes. talking with you, and I'm glad that you're enjoying such success. I went to you see your show at Perspectives. It was amazing. Oh, it's, thank you. Yeah, thank you. If, yeah. Um, if someone watching this wanted to acquire some of your work in the local area, how would they do that? Do you do commissions? Do you have a gallery? Where could we see more of your work? Um, I. The commissions is yes and no. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, yeah, it all depends on what they want me, want, want me to do, you know. Um, yes, I do have uh, galleries in Atlanta and some, you know, like, uh, like signature or screw gallery and, and sometimes uh, out of state galleries and a, a couple of them. And I, I started just like two years, really two years ago. So, you know, I'm still very new <laughs> and, you know, like still working on, on things. Well, you are having a lot of very well-deserved success and we are so lucky to have you here at the Art Center. It's, I just love Thank you. doing your class and seeing how happy everyone is. Just thank you. And thank you so much for talking with us. And yes. everyone, yes. make sure that you go through and see all of KB's show, Play Story. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, yes. oh, okay. thank you KB, and, and thank you, Althea, very much. And everybody, have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah.